In this lesson, I'll explain to you what is meant by the rule of 78. Now, if a loan is paid back before its due date, some of the interest may be refunded. The rule of 78 is a method for determining the amount of refund of finance charged for an installment loan that is paid before it's due. And here's how it's derived. In a 12-month loan, in the first month, interest accrues on 12 parts of the principal. And this goes down every month after that. So in month two, it's 11 parts. In month three, it's 10 parts. If you sum all these up all the way to 12 months, you end up with 78 parts altogether. So let's say that you have a loan and it's paid off at the end of the ninth month. Month 10, the interest accrued is three parts, and then 11th month is two, and then the last one is one part. If you add that up, you end up with six divided by 78, gives you the ratio of the total interest that must be refunded, six over 78 parts. As you can tell, this is a very small fraction, and this is the reason why the amount you get back for paying it off quickly isn't always as much as you would want. The first question reads, a loan for 12 months with interest of $468.85 is paid in full with five payments remaining. What is the refund fraction for the interest refund? Now let's think about this clearly. If there are five payments remaining on a 12-month cycle, for example, that means everything was paid within seven months of the loan. So we still have month eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, which makes five months left. Month eight would be five parts. Month nine would be four. 10 would be three. 11 would be 2, and 12 would be 1. Adding these up, 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, 15. That's 15 out of the 78 parts. A subsequent step would be to apply this fraction to the interest to calculate the interest refund. Let me explain that further with question 2. A loan of 12 months with interest of 224 is paid in full with four payments remaining. So we are right over here. Four plus three plus two plus one is 10. So that's 10 over 78. That represents the fraction. And over here, they're asking then the interest refund. So we take this fraction and we multiply it to 224. So 10 over 78 times 224. That gives us $28.72. $28.72 would be the interest refund. So there you have it. Now you know what the rule of 78 is and how it's derived.